Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Peyton Watson, the number 17 recruit in the country and the number seven small forward in the country, uh, about 6'7". He's a wing out of Long Beach, California. He has a pretty healthy offer list of UCLA, Washington, Texas Tech, Arkansas, Arizona State, Oregon, Michigan, Arizona, just picked up Georgetown, Missouri. Really good list of schools and many more. Um, his player comp is going to be Troy Williams, former Indiana Hoosier wing out of the Virginia area. I, I believe he's from Hampton or like Virginia Beach, somewhere in Southeast VA. Uh, really long arms, plays tough on both ends. Uh, has an okay jumper that needs to improve, uh, but loves to attack defenses, really get out in transition, uh, and likes to finish at the rim. His trajectory is insane right now, and he continues to improve. Uh, went from about eight points per game as a sophomore to mid-low 20s as a junior. So I brought it up in previous videos, but just know that athleticism holds a lot of weight in these national rankings. Um, for Watson, he's probably around an A-. minus. He uses his long arms and frame to his benefit on both ends. He has a high motor to be an efficient two-way player is not afraid to guard the other team's best player while still attacking the basket on offense. Has an ability to finish at the rim with driving, uh, rebound putbacks, or alley use by teammates in transition or out of bounds plays. He's still about 190 pounds, but he'll continue to get bigger. Added weight and maturity will add to his explosiveness towards the basket. Said it before, Watson has improved like crazy over the last year or so. And he continues to develop, especially with taking defenders to the cup off the bounce. He's a B plus in the ball handling and driving category, shows a dangerous first step using his length to get past defenders and then maneuver around defenders when he gets to that second level. He's also an underrated passer. He has shown that he not only can take it to the basket and finish over someone at the rim, he has shown an ability to hit the open teammate, whether they're under the basket for a layup or across court for a wide open three. A willing passer makes him more dangerous when he's usually the best player on the court by far. Shooting for Watson is going to be a B minus. Uh, he's a hard worker and one of, if not the highest risers to come on in the last year or so uh, in his class. I like that he doesn't usually settle for deep shots, and I think he would be in the C range if he had poor shot selection. He does shoot it okay enough to where you have to respect him from deep, and he can still utilize a shot fake to his benefit. He just needs to be more consistent with his shots and clean up his form a bit. Needs to use his legs uh, and not bring the ball down below his waist as much. Also, he's varied his release up top at times. More consistency in this area will be beneficial long term. What you'll be getting in Peyton Watson is a one or two and done player. By the end of his senior year, he has a shot to crack the top 10 nationally and become a McDonald's All-American. And it does not matter which school is after him, I think he'll be presented with an opportunity for a G League select contract. Dan Dockage. Can't guard me.